Hi, CJ here. Kenneth E. Wardyke Jr. affectionately called the free hugs guy quite literally because that's what he does. He offers free hugs to anyone who would accept them. Birth out of a desire to spread love in response to the bombing of the Boston Marathon, his free hug videos have reached hundreds of millions of views on YouTube and Facebook. In today's edition of Life Notes, why hugging is good for your health. I think we can all agree that hugging can be reassuring during hard times because hugs convey comfort and affection. But now research shows and suggests that hugs may have additional health benefits. Hugs help to reduce stress. Research has shown that hugging can boost oxytocin, also known as the love hormone. It's a hormone and neurotransmitter involved in a childbirth and breastfeeding and associated with empathy and trust and bonding and relationship building and other displays of physical affection. You can check out more on that research in the link in the description. H hugging or hugs also help boost the immune system. Uh, researchers have hypothesized that the comfort a hug gives helps to protect against pathogenetic effects or the pathogenetic effects uh, of stress, uh, helping to reduce blood pressure levels and heart rate. Hugs help to reduce fear and it just makes you happier. I'm sure we can all agree that there's nothing like a heartfelt squeeze when you're feeling blue. Again, producing more oxytocin, that cuddle hormone associated with happiness and less stress. Again, the research link is in the description. Even hugging an inanimate object like a teddy bear or wrapping your arms around yourself with a gentle squeeze has been shown to help reduce people's fears and stress. Quite simply, we were made from love to love. The next time you feel stretched beyond your limit or just burnt out, a good hug may help brighten your mood. Now, it won't solve all your problems entirely, but it can help relieve some of your tension and stress. I've got three questions for you. Are you a hugger? If you're not a hugger, why not? Are you willing to embrace what we have explored today? I'll leave you with a thought from Dr. Satter, and he says this, Hugging can be vital for your emotional well-being. Everybody feels skin hunger throughout their lives, and unless that hunger is satisfied by touching, there's a vital void in the emotional makeup that's going to cause deep unhappiness. We all know that babies thrive on frequent stroking. Well, adults are no different, he says. And when they are not patted on the hand, embraced around the shoulder, or hugged, they withdraw within themselves. I prescribe four hugs a day for survival, eight for maintenance, and twelve for growth. End quote. Remember, a hug can make a happy day happier and an impossible day possible.